Welcome back to our channel and uh, this time around we're going to be working with uh, something called Git. Uh, Git, is a, uh, Git is a version control system. It's basically a logging system of uh, the different versions of our software that we'll have or even, even when you're writing, let's say you're writing a book or you're writing articles, you can have a number of versions of your article um, without basically you can actually retrieve these versions of software or articles that you've been writing with a system like Git. Now Git can be compared to so many other version systems like uh, SVN or Mercurio, um, but they all have their different advantages, but I've settled on Git because it's one of the top growing, um, top growing version systems that are happening right now. Um, last year Microsoft managed to to buy out GitHub which is uh, based on Git as a version control system and its direct competitor was GitLab. Um, GitLab was growing and adding features but uh, GitHub was uh, delaying in, in, in its growth. However, that put on the side is what we're going to choose because now it is growing, it's getting better resources and it it's having better tooling uh, embedded into it. So one of the things that you'll see is that when you go to this uh, git-sim.com, uh, it gives you a, a version of uh, what software you should be downloading in terms of Git for your computer. Um, and when you're going to the documentation, you're able to find a number of things that will explain Git better than I would. I'll put the links below the video today so that you can be able to see these different videos and find out more. However, I'm going to go into something that is more practical so that at the end of the day we shall be able to contribute to our software packages that we use and even just be able to create our own and allow other people to contribute to our software. That's the beauty of Git is that it allows you to have a number of contributors bringing in goodness from so many other places, uh, bring in experience while at the same time you are enjoying, uh, whenever you make an error you can always just revert back and find out where the bugs are coming from just by using a version system, a version control system like Git. Um, some other version control systems that we use every day without actually noticing are like Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, that allow you to save a number of files with the same name but they allow you to just overwrite and then they will store that in uh, the history of, of the system. So you can always revert back to what was even before just because uh, Google Drive and Dropbox allow you to have a version control system in there with them. So with that let's dive straight into how to work with Git as a version control system.